Hello, this afternoon we're going to look at example number 12. Aluminum sulfate and calcium hydroxide become aluminum hydroxide and calcium sulfate. Now we know that aluminum has a plus 3 charge. We know that sulfate has a minus 2 charge. So if we're going to put those together, that means I have to have two aluminum and three sulfates to make a neutral atom. So I'm going to write Al2, parenthesis SO4, parenthesis 3. And they say that's reacting with calcium hydroxide. Well, I know that calcium has a plus 2 charge. I know hydroxide has a minus 1 charge. So that means that I have two hydroxides with one calcium. So I can have Ca, parenthesis OH, in parenthesis 2. And that is becoming aluminum hydroxide. So here we know that aluminum has a plus 3. We know our hydroxide has a minus 1. So that means that we need to have 3 of the hydroxides. So we're going to have Al, parenthesis OH, in parenthesis 3, plus calcium sulfate. So calcium, we know again that it has a plus 2 charge. We know our sulfate has a minus 2 charge. So when we put those things together, we're going to get CaSO4. So now let's count everything to see if our reactants and products match. First we have aluminum. Then we have our calcium. We have our sulfur, our hydrogen, and our oxygen. So if I look at aluminum, on this side I have two aluminums. But on this side, I only have one aluminum. So what I want to do is add a 2 in front of aluminum hydroxide. So now my aluminum spills out. If I look at my calcium, on this side I have one calcium. On this side I have one calcium. They balance. Life is good. If we look at sulfur, on this side I have three sulfurs. But on this side, I only have one sulfur. So that means I need to add a coefficient in front of that but that's going to change how many calciums I have. That now becomes 3. In order to make those balance, I'm going to have to put a coefficient in front of this of 3. So now we have our calciums balanced and our sulfur balanced. Let's look at our hydrogen. First, we have 3 times the 2 hydrogen here, so that's going to give me 6 hydrogen. If I look at this, I have 2 times the 3 hydrogen, so that's going to give me 6 hydrogen. Those are balanced. Excellent. If I look at oxygen, here I'm going to get 12 because I'm taking the 3 times the 4. And then I'm going to add 6 because I have 2 times the 3. So 12 from here and 6 from here will give me 18 oxygens. On this side, I'm taking 2 times the 3, which gives me 6, plus the 3 times the 4, which is 12. So the 12 from this and the 6 from this will give me 18. So now I have it balanced with one aluminum sulfate plus three calcium hydroxide gives us two aluminum hydroxide plus three calcium sulfate. Have a great day. Bye-bye.